It's the first warm day this summer and I think it's over 20 now. And I think finally I can leave my tomatoes out. 
without worrying that they will freeze at night. So anyway, I'm working on the roof today and I try to work as much as I can because it's Saturday and I have time for that. And I think I'm gonna do this side first so that I can actually go there and then start working on the other side so that it would be easier to work then. So let's do it. Pretty dry. We did this about two years ago, and it seems to be pretty high quality. Not too much twisting, as you can see. I didn't count if I do have enough of these, but we will see as we start putting these in place. Look at that! Kids have been playing here or something, which is pretty nice. But you probably understand why I'm so eager to get the cabin done. I also use my tools all the time and of course forget to bring them back. And I think they will go to my cabin too anyway, but at least there's a place for all the tools. 
so far I have been using this for everything and as you can see it's a horrible mess here firewood and a lot of tools and it's a playground too but hopefully quite soon I can start using my cabin so that helps a lot covered now and good news I had enough of those boards which means that basically all the wood in this cabin is from this property and that's super cool I think here you can see the structure so the idea is that all the humidity that comes from the cabin goes through the insulation and through this windshield and it gets into this hole and it goes up here and then finally goes through these holes and out there In the next video I'm hopefully installing the final water roof and that was actually a really hard decision because I originally uh, wanted to make a single roof and I actually tried to make shingles with hand tools and I really love that process and uh, it works but it's a huge amount of work and unfortunately I don't have that much time at the moment. I actually need this cabin quite soon that I can put all my tools here and so I end up uh, putting a felt roof or bitumen, whatever it's called in English. And that's actually quite common in Finland and uh, if you do it in traditional way it, it looks pretty good I think. So and of course in the future I can maybe replace that roof with shingles if I find time for that and want to try it. So that's the reality and sometimes you need to make compromises. But anyway I hope that looks good and thanks for watching again and see you next time.